Mm. Oh, and l just look at this. Listen. Mm -hmm. Elon Musk tweeting an April Fool's joke. Here yeah. it is. Quote, Tesla goes bankrupt. Palo Alto, California, April 1st, 2018. Despite intense efforts to raise money, including a last-ditch mass sale of Easter eggs, we're sad to report that Tesla has gone completely and totally bankrupt. So bankrupt, you can't believe it. That was an April Fool's joke. Maybe not good timing on that one. Steve. Bad timing, I yeah. would say. Peter Morisi is with us. Now look, some investors don't find that funny because there is indeed speculation in the market that it's all over for Tesla. What say you? <laughs> Tesla's running out of money. It hasn't figured out how to make cars at a profit, and it's not likely to do so soon because it hasn't figured out how to make cars, period. It has terrible production problems, and essentially they've taken on too many different things. You know, he wants to build solar panels on roofs, which he's doing, uh, he, automatic pilot, this and that, when his mission was to build an economically efficient uh, electric car, and he's failed to do that. So... Frankly, the companies could put. Oh, strong stuff from Marisi first thing in the morning. Okay. Uh, the president's gone after Amazon again. Here's an excerpt from a tweet. While we're on the subject, it is reported that the U.S. Post Office will lose a buck fifty on average for each package it delivers for Amazon. That amounts to billions of dollars. Peter, when the president attra attacks you, your stock goes down. But do you think Amazon's in trouble? No, I don't think Amazon's in trouble. I think it's on sound footing. The bottom line is the post office has to deliver six days a week to every address in America. That is a losing money proposition. By carrying packages for Amazon, UPS, FedEx, whatever, it basically reduces those losses. And that's a good thing. If it wasn't for Amazon and the others, the post office losses would be mammoth and the taxpayers would have to bail it out. Okay, Walmart reportedly considering a deal with uh, Humana. Now, if they get together, does that mean lower prices and more efficiency? What do you think? No, I don't think Walmart knows anything about running a healthcare company, and I don't think it's likely to learn very much anytime soon. I'm starting to wonder whether the Walmarts have hired Elon Musk to advise them about entrepreneurship. The basic idea behind getting some kind of health care, you know, provider into your system, you know, prescription drugs, whatever, is to draw people into the stores more often. That's CVS with, you know, these minute clinics and things like that. Uh, this doesn't make any sense. There's a lack of synergisms. Uh, Walmart's going to have to highly leverage to do this. I don't think this is a smart move. This is an example of Me Tooism. You know, uh, the drug retailers are, are, are consolidating, so somehow or other, Walmart thinks it has to follow the same. I don't think it's bright at all. We're still trying to recover from your comment that Tesla is kaput, but yes. we'll move it's on kaput. from that, Peter. You start out uh, sharp edge this morning on a Monday. Congratulations. Well, you didn't have a lot of great news. You, all your opening <laughs> stories were negatives. I thought this was, you know, Black Friday getting started, you know? Come on. But remember, this is America. There's supposed to be a future here. <laughs> okay. 15 love, Peter. Okay. <laughs> <Take care. laughs> See you later.